my pockets dry Will my hands keep reaching for more Even when I'm right where I'm supposed to be Will I ever be more to me Than dragging my feet Thank you so much. Thank you. Back to Kate. Wow. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thanks, guys. Beautiful song. Um, is that one out? No. <laughs> I do have songs out, though. You can check me out on Spotify, anywhere you listen to music. We were saying, like, even during sound check, we were like, man, Harrison, you write some deep stuff. Like, I know you say you're just getting started, but you got some good stuff going on. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, all right. Do one of you have a pick? <laughs> mine's, mine's wooden. I'm always losing my picks. Wooden. I have a wooden pick. Let that might be cooler. Our... You guys use really thin picks. I, I, have, I have a thicker one back here. Or it's in my pocket, actually. It's in my pocket. Yeah, do you have a Ready? different one? I know beggars from can't Guitar be choosers, Center. But... It's like the default pick. Thank you. I'm yeah, always sure. losing my picks. Everywhere I go, I'm just a trail of picks That's everywhere. Like I have one of those. But I, I lost it. it. Yeah, it's like my fifth one. <laughs> no, I didn't lose it. I just forgot it. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you. Of course. So uh, I was thinking about what song I should play to follow that. And um, I think I'm going to play, this is a newer song of mine, also not recorded. Um, but it's a song called Wild and Free. And uh, if you've heard anything about me or you've seen me before, you might know that I have a motto and a sticker. And it says, be you, be brave, be free. And my first record that I put out in 2017, it's called She Is Free. And my whole journey in music has been about finding myself again and coming back to this passion that I have and this thing that I feel like I was born to do. Um, and so I find myself writing about freedom a lot and talking about it a lot and thinking about it a lot. And so this is a newer song. It's called Wild and Free. Um, and it's kind of this idea that you know, I keep thinking freedom is something that I have to find, and actually I think it's just a way of choosing to live your life full of laughter in every chapter that you're in. And so I hope you like it. It's called Wild and Free. If you don't like it, it's because I have a bad pick. <laughs> between you and me and I've seen freedom meet bills piled on the table but no one will be able to make it through anything as long as it's you and me singing oh oh Of life. 
I like this inadvertent theme because that this is so, that's something I think about a lot and usually results in me um, having a, an existential crisis. Um, and this song was born out of a it's a that was a very beautiful and optimistic way to channel that feeling. This <laughs> song that I'm about to play, uh, not so much. Um, <laughs> it's called uh, "Drive, Drive, Drive." It's the the title track off or the first track off the the album that I uh, released um, after. I mean, during the pandemic. Everything kind of like as a musician, as someone you know, artist, uh, primarily entertainment that feeds and lives and breathes off of doing stuff like this with people like this. The pandemic was not great uh, because it just stopped for like two years, and then even coming back from that, it was it was really slow. So at one point during the pandemic, I started seeing people putting out new music and playing shows again, and it took me a little while to get back into that, um, and I felt pretty stuck uh, and kind of tethered. Um, and I wrote, and I was like, can I swear in here? This is a 21. I won't swear. Um, I was like, screw it. <laughs> um, and uh, I wrote this, this song. And, huh? So you're looking at me like you haven't already sweared in front of me. Have, have I? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry to tell on you. Don't give our backstage secrets away. I, sorry. I have a five-year-old stepdaughter at home, so I have to mm -hmm. monitor myself all day. And then when I get to be around adults, just the faucet, it just goes. I'm just <laughs> cussing every other word. Um, I guess we are in a winery, so theoretically you have to be a certain age to be in here. Unless you're crushing it on stage. Um, uh, <laughs> so yeah, this song is called uh, Drive. I'm just going to quickly tune up. One thing that's really hard about being a musician is talking and tuning. So what I've done is I've just perfected that little bit. Well, I packed my bag and hit the road. Trying to take back what I know I'm owed. When I've been fed up for way too long. I took too many rights, but they were wrong. And I got no plans, no one to answer to, and nowhere to be. I'll keep driving till I reach the sea With my foot on the gas I know when I'll arrive And all I gotta do is drive, drive, drive I 
turned off my cell phone no one needs to know feeling like a dark sky with no glow waiting for these rain clouds to fall apart let the pain wash away i can use a fresh start and i got no plans no one to answer to and know where to be think that i'll keep driving till i reach the sea with my foot on the gas not knowing when i'll arrive and all i gotta do is drive drive and drive and i'll be back in now in a Somewhere to be here. And it's all in slow motion And as my feet hit the floor Just a fever dream and nothing more the road leads in me Hells is around And I'll open my windows, close my eyes, no sound I got no plans, no one to answer to, and no way to be. I think that I'll keep driving till I reach the sea. With my foot on the gas, I know when I'll arrive. And all I gotta do is drive, drive, drive. With my foot on the gas, I know when I'll arrive. Ready to sing it, and then it was over. <laughs> but it was a really good song. It was great. That, that <laughs> harmony was great. That's one of my Excellent. favorites, I think. Oh, thank yeah, you. That's it was good. good. It's, it's a good, good jam. Thank you. Out of the two so far. <laughs> no, I like that. I love the first one. No. It only goes I, downhill from okay. here. <laughs> Somehow that compliment got turned around in the middle of hearing the song <laughs> on the first song. It was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Uh, this next song I'm going to play is a newer song that I wrote. And it's about the last and only pretty much relationship I've been in. Now I'm scared of high school girls. Um, As you should be. <laughs> right. Uh, it's just, it, was, it got pretty one-sided, and I don't know. I don't want to bash anyone too much. But, uh, bash away. <laughs> you have a microphone. I don't need to do Drew is a bad influence. Taylor Swift does it enough. I don't. I don't need to do this. Um, anyways, look where she's at. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of right. That's a good point. Maybe, maybe, maybe an arena tour is my future. Uh, but uh, there's, I ended things, and there was a lot of rumors saw coming from her after that, and it was kind of terrible. So I wrote a song about that. It's called Enemy, and it's kind of about how I turned into the enemy. I played 20 shows last summer and you didn't come the one I was supported You told the people that I love the most the story that you twisted and the story Tried to brush it off like nothing, just another crazy girl who's not a mature. But your voice is in my head, those 12 months I still regret, God is torture. I've said my piece, apologize for all the shit you improvise. made me the enemy and me and me you were everything 
I wanted Went from loving me to haunting You're a cold-blooded killer You're a hunter who will justify The deer you shot and killed is a mere thriller Well, I'm not some animal you see Not what you make me out to be I'm a survivor You drag me through Honey, you could really use A stabilizer I was sitting my piece Apologize For all the shit you improvise You didn't get your way So you're praying for the end of me We said goodbye It big me to stay Then you slowly lit the flame I don't know if I should release that one. It might be a little too much, but. That's perfect. You're like, I don't want to say anything bad. I'll just sing it in my song. That's what I, that's what I do. That's how, I, hurt, that's how I get through things, honestly. It hurts less Songwriting when it's is delivered there. With, with such beauty and you're singing. It doesn't sting as much. That was good. Those are some witty lyrics. That's good. You also Very swore good. twice. Yeah. Yeah, we were I had, I had a, a one-up you. <laughs> I also am not good at tuning and talking. It's challenging. Um, all right. Don't worry. You talk about the talk in tune. Why can you talk about it? Well, I, just kidding. So it's really hard as a musician to talk in tune. Tell a joke for me. I don't know any jokes. Oh. Do you have a good joke? No. See, I should have said that because I don't really have any jokes. <laughs> uh, Bob had a good joke tonight. I said, oh, Bob, you got your hair cut. And he said, oh, boy. Oh, yeah, all of them. That's Sorry, bad. Bob. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to play a song off of my most recent record. I put this record out in 2019. I have put some singles out since then, but um, this is a song. I like to really make my song titles very clear. This is called Jeep Song. And <laughs> so um, in case you didn't get it from the title, I wrote it about a Jeep, kind of. <laughs> uh, does anyone in here drive standard transmission vehicle? OK, cool. So you guys aren't quite expired yet or extinguished. What's the word? Um, extinct, thank you. <laughs> extinguished. I, I like expired. <laughs> expired. <laughs> so. <laughs> I actually think driving. Um, <laughs> I actually think driving standard is really fun, and I'm lucky I've gotten to do it on some pretty sweet rides. My dad used to have a Shelby Mustang GT, some model that I'm going to get wrong, but he had one for a couple years, and he taught me how to drive standard on the back roads of Guilford and Gilmington, and I felt so cool. You know, I'm like 17, and I'm like driving this sick car. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's awesome. Um, and anyways, and then uh, uh, this guy, he had a Jeep Wrangler, and he was like, do you want to learn how to drive standard? And I was like, I already know how. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he taught me how to drive standard in his Jeep Wrangler. And um, I thought it was really fun, but I wasn't very good at it. I stalled a lot. Uh, but And yeah, so... I wrote this song. I still don't have a Jeep. I want one badly, but if I do get one, it'll probably be an automatic. <laughs> but I did get this song out of the experience. It's called Jeep Song. Um, and there's a line in it that says, don't stall on me. And uh, as I play this, I f do you guys feel this way? I wrote the song about one thing, right? I wrote it about this experience learning how to drive standard in this Jeep Wrangler. And the more that I play it out and the more that I like sit with it, the more it takes on new meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
songs kind of grow with you, which is really cool as a songwriter. And so as I play it, I feel like this song has just become kind of a reflective tune about also just not wanting to stall on myself. Like we've talked, you talked about how this is kind of a hard career to be in. It's really hard to get up on stage and pour your hearts out to people and um, kind of hit the road and do this uh, for a living. But we also love it and it's worth it. And nights like this and folks like you make it worth it. Um, but it's important to remember not to, to stall on yourself and to keep going. So this is Jeep song. And if anyone would like to sponsor Katie Dobbins music, I want a white Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, t I mean, I'll take whatever, but <laughs> white is the dream.
I'm not gonna play it, but I wrote a song. I during the pandemic, um, I uh, s- tried to get into fishing. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I have ADHD. It's not a great hobby for me. Uh, so I wrote a song that was literally about how I couldn't catch any fish, uh, and then it turned into something else. So I, I, I thought of, that resonates. Um, fishing is just so boring. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you offended the people in the crowd by saying that. Are you sure you just weren't good at it? I was probably terrible. Well, yeah, because I have no patience. It would be boring if you, like, didn't ever catch a fish, I yeah, suppose. Th- yeah, heads th- I, and then I wrote the song, Hard to Spot a Fish. Um, it was awful for me. Do we have I any have fishers? Yes. Fisher, fishermen? Fisher people? Fisher I think women? they all left after that comment. Yeah. <laughs> Only two people raised their hands, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's just like you cast it, and it's like, why don't the fish just like immediately bite? <laughs> why do you have to wait? Huh? They're testing me. Yeah, they're testing me. Um, I love the, I also, so sometimes I'll play with a uh, kick drum and a foot tambourine, and I did a show on Saturday, um, you know, played my heart out for like an hour, and you know, I love talking to people after the show and talking about music, and this uh, couple came up, and they were like, and I was ready, I was so stoked to talk to them, and like, where'd you get the, the foot tambourine? And I was like, Amazon, and that was it, they just walked away. <laughs> people, love, people love the foot tambourine. I don't know if you've rece- had the, that reception where it's just like. Well, I haven't had people just like walk away, but um, I have, <laughs> like, I like watching people's faces when I'm playing a show, and I do, I also play with a little kick drum sometimes, or the tambourine. And I won't say anything, and I'll just kind of like start it mid-song, and I like watching people's faces be like, what is that? And then they'll kind of like look for, yes. that's kind of a fun game. <laughs> another looked. thing you'll have to teach me, I think. Huh? So I think it's another thing you're going to have to teach me. All right. Yeah, the harmonica and the... The key with harmonica, you just get, they, I just have like eight harmonicas and they're in specific keys, so it's like impossible to mess up. <laughs> that's not true. Watch, the, I'm going to mess, I'm going to fuck it up this song. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's a curse. Wow. I don't think I can one-up that. Uh, so I was, I was wavering which song to do um, next. I think I'm going to do one called Yellow. Uh, this is a new song. It's not out there. Uh, it, not to be confused with the Coldplay song, Yellow. Uh, sorry to disappoint about any Coldplay songs and Coldplay fans in the audience. Uh, this is about the aforementioned five-year-old that I live with. Um, uh, yeah, just... Uh, I'm, I'm, it's a, I started dating uh, my now fiance uh, four and a half years ago, so I've been able to watch, uh, you know, Natalia as, as a five-year-old grow up, um, which was, uh, uh, you know, unexpected, uh, being 27 at the time. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wrote this song pretty recently. Uh, so yeah. Like a bird in the pine Runs on hardwood floor Wearing socks Mismatched Cause one of the pairs is lost She sees in color And just like her mother And always taking after her mother And take me wherever you And I'll promise you, my darling, you'd always be my yellow. She's a blank sheet, and she does not hesitate, and mixes all of my expensive acrylic paint, and though I'm more reason with each brush stroke, jelly serve of you, she don't care where them pictures go, and she sees in color, and just like no other, and no he's taking her mother and take me 
you wherever you go and i'll promise you my darling and always be my alone Coloring just like no other, and no, he's taking after her mother. And take me wherever you go, and I promise you, my darling, and always be my yellow, and always be my yellow. Thank you. Beard hair is getting keep getting stuck in the harmonica. That's advice I'd have is don't don't grow a beard if you play harmonica. No taken. I tried. I can't. Although it's it's impossible not to. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. Hello, nice. All right. Uh, this next song is about my grandfather. He passed away a couple years ago, and no matter where he was living, he always wanted to. Um, Settled down in the state of Maine. I don't know if anyone here has strong ties to the state of Maine, but um, hopefully you can resonate with this song. My mom would tell me stories about how as they'd be sitting around the dinner table, and he'd be really stressed out with work. Um, he'd stand up at the dinner table and say, that's it, I'm moving to Maine. He'd get in his car, <laughs> and he'd drive. He'd never go there. They were living all over the country, but um, it was always his happy place. So the song is a metaphor for going and finding your happy place, and maybe... You don't have to wait till the end of your life to go do that. But. Both my parents had seen some better days. The weight of work and making money made them see through darker pains. And they got real hard to see the smiles on their face. Dad got up, he said, we're moving away. We're going to Maine, dying to live near the coast. Let's throw our worries to the sea. There's no better time than that spent at the beach. I hope one day we'll get to settle down in Maine. Shook out his briefcase of that worthless debris. Grabbed his cigars, his leather wallet, and his shiny car keys. He hit the road with that same empty grin. He'd race his problems, but he'd never win. We're going to Maine, going to live near the coast. Let's throw our worries to the sea. No better time than that spent at the beach. I hope one day we'll get to settle down in Maine. It's okay to switch paths every so often in your life. It's okay to be sad, just smile once a night. There's something to be said about making a change. Got up and changed. We're living in Maine, a house right by the coast. We threw our worries to the deep blue sea. The only thing that's missing is you sitting here with me. I knew one day we'd get to settle down in Maine. It's all thanks to you. That we love the state of Maine.
Thank you. That song means a lot to me, and it really means a lot to be able to play for people, and hopefully they can connect with it. Hopefully it can give you kind of an understanding of who my grandfather was as a person. That made me like, I'm like tearing up. That was really beautiful. Um, Crying is like 10 times an applause. So if you, if you feel like a tear coming on, don't hold back. Just stop. Be, like point at yourself so I can see it. It was great until Harrison made the entire room cry. <laughs> no, um, then it was awesome. I also, I also spent a lot of time in Maine with my Nana, too. Like they always would stay up in the Gungwit Wells area. So we would... Oh, yeah go up there a lot in the summer and my family and I love Maine so oh, that's pull it at my heartstrings that was beautiful um, and you led in perfectly to my new single I did it on purpose thank you <laughs> it's a great song by the way the new single you thank you it. you'll promote it <laughs> you can promote it um, so one day a couple years ago I woke up and sometimes I just wake up with these like really strong urges to go do something in nature and it's like I have to get to the mountain or I have to get to the ocean or I just have to like do something um, and I can't always do it right on the spot obviously because life but this particular day I woke up just like itching for the sea and so and I was able to and I drove to the main coast and I sat there on the beautiful cliffs on the marginal way and just like in complete yes a gunquit complete awe of uh, the ocean and creation and God and just all of it. And I just was like <laughs> crying and <laughs> just like really emotional. Um, and I wasn't planning on writing a song that day, but by the time I left the coast, I had half of it written. And then by the time I got home, the whole thing was done. And now I decided to record it and I just released it on Friday. It's a song called Wild. I do need to walk over to the piano, though, so if you could serenade my walking, that would be there, yeah. Thank you. That was lovely. Thank you. Give it up for Harrison. Unrehearsed. All right. <laughs> This is a song called Wild. I hope you like it.
so much. It's funny you mentioned Marjorie Wake. That's also Algonquin was my grandparent, my grandpa. Uh, my grandma passed away when I was very young, but my grandpa passed away a couple of years ago, and he and they had a house up in Algonquin, Maine, that was right near Perkins Cove. Um, and they had to sell it after he, he passed away because uh, there wasn't anyone to maintain it. But it's still a really special place for my family. My parents and I go back to Agunkel for like the summer. I've uh, been going there for 30 years. Uh, and I like I can picture Marginal Way. Like I like, or I like, it's nice to be able to picture Marginal Way when, and now have that as the, the soundtrack to Marginal Way. It's beautiful. Um, so I, uh, I'm based out of, uh, I'm, I'm currently based in Hudson. Uh, Mass, so central Massachusetts, uh, but for uh, the better part of my adult life. And is anyone familiar with uh, the biggest Massachusetts Boston holiday, Alston Christmas? Yes. It's a rat's I lived in Alston once. Oh, really? Yeah. It, it was is wild. A, it's a rat's nest of a day. <laughs> um, it's this day where everyone is just so angry and uh, People yell at each other like never before. Over it's beautiful. Just um, like Christmas. Just like Christmas. <laughs> um, and uh, a couple years ago, my cousin was moving out of there, uh, or her apartment uh, with her her now husband, and uh, tasked me to help them, them move. Uh, they were wildly underprepared. Um, so you know, we're carrying. I'm like on the receiving end of a bureau, and the drawers are flinging open and hit me in the stomach and shoelaces are getting caught in heavy parts of Pelotons. It was just uh, an absolute disaster. Uh, and at the end of it, my cousin hands me a single can of warm dented beer. Uh, and uh, I went, went on my way. Uh, but I did write this song called Moving Day. Uh, there is something beautiful about Austin Christmas because scattered along the streets are all these microcosms and little tiny views into all these like people's lives that you'll ne you, you see that day and you'll likely uh, hopefully, uh, never see again. Um, Wait, can we explain what Alston Christmas is? I'm really confused. Alston Christmas, it, it's the, is it September 1st? It's the, right? It's like the, the day that all summer leases end, everyone moves out of their apartments and everyone's moving into their college apartments. So it is just like people are friggin' hucking sofas out the windows and... And everyone just leaves, like, all the stuff you want to get rid of, you just leave it on the street. And it's like, yeah, on the curb. And that's, like, what the day is for. And you're just allowed to do that. Right. And so yes, you can go yeah. hunt for things if you want, but not recommended, but... Yeah, you yeah, can get you could... bureau dressers and nightstands and bed bugs. It's, um... <laughs> it's great. <laughs> So I wrote this song about it <laughs> uh, called Moving Day. Felt like only yesterday, got the keys and locks. Now I'm staring at and all our stuff packed in a cardboard box and we broke down this old couch left some of the parts in the hallway Now we play the game of what we take and what we trash Carried all these things cause they remind us of our past even though it's a hand-me-down and it's worthless to anyone else So baby, get the broom, sweep the dust right out the room And I'll go get that mop in the closet with the things we forgot And I don't know how I'm supposed to settle in a room that's new September made it to the end of August. Seen everywhere you look, peering at someone else's closet. I wonder if the old sweater and the old dress know then I want it. And someone else's trash seemed to be someone else's treasure. Picking through the scraps just to find a bit of pleasure and maybe.
accustomed to the noise of the city street. And I'm not quite sure how the night I'll fall asleep. I can hear the creeks in the forest, but it ain't quite loud enough. With the window open, I'll try to grab the wind. Feels like every fall, a new chapter begins. And I'm not off to school, hey, oh, nothing's really changing for me. Oh. So, baby, get the room and sweep the dust right out the room. Hey, oh, and I'll go get that mop in the closet with the things we forgot. And I don't know how I'm supposed to settle in a room that's newly. And I don't know how I'm supposed to settle in a room that's I love that because I do the I like the I do the kick drum. That was that was perfect. That was perfect. Oh, that was perfect. Thank you. That was awesome. Being the youngest one here is great because I look up to the two of them so much, and it's been really cool to watch, to share the stage with them tonight. And you can you can ask Drew. I was drilling him with questions backstage before this. But like, that was making up answers. Things. Yeah. <laughs> you some you some good answers, but it's it's just really cool to. Uh, be able to see people older than me doing the same thing that I really want to do. So let's give a hand to those two. Clap for the old ones. <laughs> Just kidding. I said older. I was very careful. <laughs> we look up to you too. Dude, your songwriting is stellar. So I'm very inspired sitting in between you both. And that's why I love these shows because... I just always get new inspiration every time I listen to songwriters. So I hope all of you are feeling inspired too. That's what these nights are for. This song is called Thank You, um, but it's not the good kind of thank you. It's like, thank you for showing me who you really are so I can get you out of my life. It's about the same person as the other song. <laughs> Does she know? About what? Did I write these, these songs? songs? I don't know. I haven't released them. I, don't, uh, I, I think we're both we're mutu mutually blocked on everything. Oh, I brought her here, so... Uh, come on out! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'd probably run. <laughs> you asked me to be patient you said don't turn the page yet let's try it one more time girl we can keep on reading but you'll never like the ending you're my biggest fan you said and moving on took the wheel and you, you drove me crazy, you made me sure that I am never going back, you showed me you, and although it hurt me, locked it in, that I am never
Thank you. For real, though. I apologize for the front row. I like projectile spit in the middle of the song. You're in the splash zone. I don't know. I don't know if those tickets cost more, but uh, congratulations. Those are our budget hydro, hydro, what are they? Hydroponics? No, hydro, that sounds right. I know hydro's in the word. Hydro, pyrotechnics. Oh, pyro, fire. Yeah, that, well what's the- Did you just compare his spit to pyrotechnics? Well, I said it's the budget pyrotechnics. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I th hydrotechnics didn't sound right. Yeah. It's not. Is that a thing? <laughs> that would be so dangerous. Just make a stage super slippery. <laughs> Well, yes, thank you for real, the good kind, right? The right. good kind of thank you, yes. I want to thank Katie first because she was the one who reached out to me and Drew, I think, and brought us here and got us all together this night. And yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. It's my first writer's room, so. It thank is? You for inviting me. Awesome. Well, thank you for saying yes. Um, it's been a really an honor and a joy to host this series every month. Uh, I do this on the last Wednesday of every month, and new artists join me every time. So it's really fun for me because I get a front row seat to these awesome artists, and I get to meet all of you. And I just want to say thank you so much for supporting the show. And can you clap for... Everybody at Hermit Woods Winery, your wait staff, Bob Manley, Marika back there. Thank you so much. And can you clap again? We have Chris Miga back here running sound for us this evening. all the power, as you can see. When I say things... He doesn't like, he just mutes me, but I'm loud. Hello? Okay. Jeez. Never mind. Don't thank him. Just kidding. <laughs> no, Chris gets here at between like 3 and 4. A.M. A.M. <laughs> we get here, he's already set up the stage, he's already played piano, and I don't know what else he does when he's here, but... Anyway, Chris, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. And, and I kind of like grazed over Bob over here, but he not only is one of the owners here at the winery, but he's also running our live stream and he's walking around taking photographs and he really partners with me to make this series special and um, encourage me and give me the support that I need to do this. So. Bob, thank you so much for all the hats that you wear. And they're really cool hats. I mean, look at that hat. But I really, really, really love this show. I love this series. And um, I, like Bob said, I hope that we get to do this show for a long time. So please keep coming out. Um, actually, when I was getting ready for the show and we were getting set up on stage, I got a new little scar on my guitar here. I don't know if you can see it. I knocked it on something. I think it was Harrison's fault. But, yeah. Don't make me angry. <laughs> make you my enemy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, and I was like, oh man, I scratched my guitar. And then I was like, I'm really glad that I did it here because now, and this is really cheesy, but it's true. I'm like, every time I look at this, I'm gonna remember that I did that at Songwriter Roundup at Hermit Woods, my favorite show. <laughs> Let's all scratch our guitars in, in solidarity, Harrison. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I wrote a song a couple months ago and I've only played it in this room once, but I wanna play it tonight. It's called Red, White, and Blueberry Wine. And I wrote it, yeah! I wrote it kind of about this show and about live music and just the magic that happened. So I hope you like it. There will be another sing-along part. I tested you at the beginning of the show and you passed. So 
I'll ask you to sing in a little bit. This is red, white, and blueberry wine. Is anyone drinking the blueberry wine? Blueberry wine, anybody? Yeah, cheers. Everybody raise your glass, no matter what you're drinking. Water, wine, we love it. Beer. Cheers, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I grew up in a small town, the kind of place you leave when you think it must be time to spread your wings. But flying taught me freedom is found right where you are, bringing people together and sharing a little love and rest. back someday.
job, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for singing. I love hearing you sing along. It's so much fun. Oh, this is our last round of the evening. I forgot to say that. And then we do have a special surprise to end the show. Um, so, yes. That was mostly for you guys. This is our last round. Okay. And hi to everybody on live stream. I'm so sorry. Thank you for tuning in. Hi. Is it that one? Is that that one. That. What's that one? But you can wave wherever. That's a projector. No, the camera back there. That's my camera. I'm filming oh. the show. Okay. Yeah, I, I like to, sometimes I like to make little videos of the, you know, for like social media and stuff. You know, you're like hip and everything. I know all everything. about social media. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> um, Drake, yeah. everybody. Drake. <laughs> Hip hop legend. That's the only Drake song that I know. Um, yeah, I hope uh, you guys all had as, as much fun as we did up here. Uh, thanks again for inviting me. Um, uh, yeah, this has been a, a beautiful venue. It's a lot cleaner than venues that I'm used to playing in. Uh, they actually have just like liquor, just like hanging out downstairs. If, I, if that were the venues that I, I played in Boston, that would have been stolen immediately. Um, uh, don't get any ideas. Yeah, don't get any ideas. <laughs> Uh, but this is a beautiful, beautiful venue, uh, and the sound is, is, is incredible. Uh, so really, really, really happy to be here. Um, couple quick plugs. All of us have really oh, cool yeah. merch downstairs. Uh, buy it. Um, uh, beautiful stickers and t-shirts, right? Right. Right, and stickers and t-shirts. Stickers t -shirts. and t-shirts. Uh, yeah. Stickers and t-shirts. Stickers and t-shirts. <laughs> and totes, so you can buy the totes and then put their stickers and t-shirts in the totes. Uh, kind of like an easy way to carry it out. Um, my manager would kill me if I didn't quickly plug that, uh, you know, one thing that really helps artists, uh, you know, build a, a fan base and, and come back and play uh, more and more, which is uh, uh, my favorite thing in the world to do, is building out um, an email and texting list. Uh, I'm, I've embarked on that horrendous journey. Um, but I'm giving away stickers and little keychains if, if you sign up. So if you, if you do like what you hear and, and want to come see another show, um, you can do that. Um, and I won't spam you. I sent one newsletter, and it had a recipe for a lemon olive oil cake and a picture of my dog. Um, and uh, he's pretty cute, so you want to see that. Um, this last song I'm going to play is called uh, Don't Be Afraid of Sundays. It is also on the record. Um, I originally wrote it as a, a as a joke uh, because the you know Sunday scaries is like a thing that I you know I, I hear people uh, say um, and you know I think we all have it um, but uh, I ended up really really liking the, the song that came out of it uh, and that's that's what I'm gonna play. Pretend you forget my list Under every aisle 
for a while And baby, we can reminisce About those times that made us smile Slowly sipping coffee, let this week come in. No, you've got a lot of work. Meetings fill the books. If you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed, look at the photos that we took. And babe, I'll write you letters to sleep in your lunch. And I'll have dinner waiting so you don't assess them much. Sundays, let this we come and go. Don't you be afraid of Sundays, let this we come and go. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I like that one a lot. Thank you. I just love your voice. That's I love your voice and your voice. I was saying in rehearsal, just kidding, in sound check, I was saying, like, I got butter on this side of me and gravel on this side. And it's so good. Don't good mix, gravel. Don't good mix gravel. butter and gravel. Yeah. <laughs> but we, I don't know. I mean, we can mix. But I'm, I mean, like, literally, metaphor, like, we can, we can mix. But I wouldn't put gravel in butter. <laughs> Okay. That's the takeaway from the night. Yeah. <laughs> if you remember anything, remember that. Uh, this next song is the only song that I played tonight that's actually out, I think. It's called Frost, and it was released on September, fir September 1st. And I hope you like it. You do? Just listen to it. Put it on your playlist. Each winter, the snow comes a little late. And the grass, it turns into tundra Bumps on my skin Remind me when the cold was romantic All the little jokes, the memories My eye coloring, match your phone screen But you left a mark And the cold
cover thanks to you I still hug my mother because you left a mark and the cold brings it back I see your face in the collection of the cross of the frost when will it melt away Thank God it only comes in waves. There's a sticker that says it downstairs. You can buy it for two dollars. <laughs> if you're really nice to me, I'll give it to you for one dollar. <laughs> you look like a nice crowd. You know what? Stickers are one dollar tonight. <laughs> Aww. Well, thank you guys so much. That was great. That's Harrison's newest single. We all have music out on Spotify, Amazon, Apple, Pandora, probably wherever you like to listen, you can find our music. And um, we would love for you to, like you said, add it to your playlist, listen to it, dance around in the kitchen to it, whatever, however you like to listen to music. And um, you can also find all of us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, wherever you like to hang out on the interwebs. You talked about a mailing list is really helpful. It's also helpful just to stay connected in those uh, internet spaces. And so we'd love for you to, if you like us, give us a follow. Um, and same goes for this venue. They do music here, as Bob was telling you, all the time. So give Hermit Woods Winery a follow as well so you can stay up to date with all of the awesome stuff going on here. We have one more song for you, and this is not a song that any of us wrote. Someone else wrote it. I like to joke that I did write it, but I didn't write it. I like to tell that joke. When you start playing, I like I wrote the song. Yeah, I wrote like this I, song. I'll play like, I'll it play like, me. I'll finish somewhere over the rainbow or something, and I'll be like, thank you yeah, so much. That was an original. Just to see who's paying attention. I thought that was my joke. Oh, no, I guess it's you not must that, have stole it from original. me.